Hello, Marvel64 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic 3 Knuckles. And this time we're in Lavery Zone. Which, well, as Lava, if the level was. if the level's name was any indication. And that was a dickish move. And that was a stupid move. Yeah, there's. We have fire shears, although I think we've seen them before. Or is it me? Oh well. Is this stuff all is actually my favourite. Is Act 2 of this level is very interesting. And also it's got a lot of new looking crannies. Well that didn't make any sense actually. Well, I mean, this it is very huge open level as well because you have many a secret around here, like that plant, that rock I stepped on. As you can probably saw, there was a spring in it, and all you have to do is just stand on it, and you'll be able to use the spring. Oh, and here's a fun fact. Oh no, I actually save it for another time. I was just thinking of Tails. Actually, yeah, I will say it. Tails, as you know, wasn't in Sonic and Knuckles. In fact, he had no sprites in Sonic and Knuckles. You can hack him in. <coughs> but he had no sprites whatsoever. Except for the sprites where he goes back and run spiral platforms. That. Except for sprites where he goes down and running corkscrew thingies. Those are actually in Sonic 3 Knuckles. They're not Sonic 3 Knuckles, Sonic and Knuckles. And that was just stupid. And I've lost a perfectly good shield. Damn it. Yeah, the fire shield can really break the soul. In fact, it can really break the boss. <coughs> the boss level in this is actually very interesting as well. And. Yeah, that was a rather bad blind jump. Now it's even worse. But the boss level is actually very interesting, and we'll get into that when we actually encounter the boss. Better grab before bad happens. And we have this. This thing can murder your character in one hit. It's spiky, yeah, but it also crushes you. And there's some sort, some kind of cruel joke. It spreads your rings all around the place when you die. But anyway, we found the special stage. So let's go in the one. I think I failed at this one before. Let's not fail at this one this time. There's a few, quite a few hidden special stage rings as well. Some of them I actually don't know how to get into. I honestly do not have any idea. Oh. I thought the me video just corrupted for a second, but I just remembered that I must have paused during the game. Oh well. I can see this one's not that hard. This one. I think I may have failed this one, but once. During the LP, but I can't remember. Uh, I think I did. Oh well. As I said, this one is very straightforward. Very easy. At least it's not that bad. Not as bad as the one where you have to turn straight when you're going back. I think I may have actually f solved that one. I think you have to, as soon as the character stops when bouncing back, you have to turn quickly. However, you got to do it quickly. I think. That catch me out. Oh well. Maybe off camera I'll try and f do that one. Practice it a little bit. 
I'm thinking any emeralds. Especially if I missed that. I think I might do it off camera. Then show you off. Show off hypersonic. Or hyper knuckles. As of yet, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before. Sorry, my memory's not very good. I think, as I mentioned before, I um, really do not plan on doing Tails. For the simple answer that, this game is pretty much the same as Sonic's. I'm not doing Sonic and Tails at the same time either, because it's just Sonic. It's just Sonic the Edgehog, but with Tails as well. Pretty much the same thing. Same levels and all. That was dumbass. I'm still trying to figure out how the hell you get into that. That special day shrink. I've been. That wouldn't have stumped me for years. I'm not sure if there's a video that actually manages that. But anyway, I was saying, I am really not planning to, to do Tails anytime soon. But anyway, you could spin dash into that, but I didn't. I don't know why. And we need, need just got it. And we're going up here. So, uh, well, why not? I think there is something special up here. Uh, rings and extra life. See if we don't have enough already. Oh, and then planks. That uh, robot is spitting out. Those latch onto you, slow you, slow you down, and start sucking out your rings one per second and with traps. I do not know how the hell I managed that. I don't think I could jump either. I think I was just wedged in between the robot and the wall. And yeah, that robot. Attached by suiciding. Uh. That's the problem with when I'm recording. I run out of things to say. It's part of what, what, what I just hate about doing Let's Face. I sometimes I just run out of things to say and it's just branding thinking of something to talk about. Oh yeah. I thought my Kingdom Hearts Breath by Seat was broke. Oh no, I just found it last night. Or some other night the other night when you watch this. That it wasn't broke. It that just shot me. Shot me, I just decided to try it out. Po my Pokemon Cross isn't working either, though, sadly. And that is such a fantastic game. It's too bad my UMD is just playing up on me. Well, I don't know what I've done to it in the first place. Although, I think the plastic bit out. Hmm. The plastic. Bit around uh, on the front side of the disc is busted a little bit, and also the outer casing is slightly, it's got a little break on it. And yet, Poco Price is the same problem except without the break on the side. And even though my UMD of Birth by Seat is a little more bind up than Pobo Cross. Pobo Cross doesn't work. Or it refuses to work. I might try it later, but seriously. But anyway. Well, I'm playing though, because. Kingdom Hearts Perfect Seat is just a fantastic game. You know what, see? It's probably one of the most impressive PSP games I actually have played. I 
think, unfortunately, when I fought, fought these two PS2 get PSP, not PS2, PSP games didn't work, I deleted the files. Now it's the thought, Birth by Sleep all over again. I already beat it once in terror, and that kind of boss is just. Oh. But oh well. This time we'll take him on. Take him on this time. Go for revenge. Although I think I was quite under leveled because I was like level 38, I think, or 39. And that is probably not a very good idea. And, but anyway, the lava is just. Um. Dried. And now we're in a much cooler area with pipes. What? Yeah. This is what I like about right, Act 2. It completely changes. It changes look and colour. The part completely changes as well as the levels look. However, the boss area will inherit the look, but with a completely different palette. I guess for like it's like hot. You'll see it in why I like that boss as well, in a bit. Oh, when we get through this. I'm amazed at how long it took for this level. Although, Sky Sanctuary I took, did about five minutes. I'm like, how? I swear it took longer than that on it. It's only a one minute zone. Well, I think I'm getting a bit ahead of myself here. I believe. So yeah, like I said, mentioned before, a fire shield really breaks the level. This is why I really recommend that you grab a fire shield when you're in this you're in our lava reef zone. And I believe this is the last time you actually get to enter this battle stage, I believe. Because there doesn't seem to be any special stage rings in the later levels. And we're in, we're in, I was having a bit of trouble getting up there as well. And this is where the level kind of gets a bit hard. That was. And we have them spikes. Which after a countdown, just banks. And I really think I should have saved that fire shield. Because I think I could be losing it in a bit. I can't remember, but I think I do. There we go. You have to use spring up here. As you can probably see, it's in the bottom of them is not a good idea. Can't go for there. Go for them. Unfortunately, you lose our fire shield. My, my fire shield on them. On that one. And this is weird. You need to press jump with a good timing to hurl yourself flying up here. It's actually quite fun. However, you need to get the timing just right. I think there's another in somewhere in early in the level, I think. I think though. So. I'm pretty sure that was the second one of them that spinning thing. Luckily we can get through there before we get crushed. Luckily we've got another fire shield. I should have meant that a few weeks ago, but I didn't do it. We can go down here. I think we went down there and did... How was it? No. Oh. I don't know what I'm trying to say now. That thing we went down, I think, it was in Act 1 as well. Like, this is what I love about Love of Zone Act 2. It feels like a completely different level from Act 1. It doesn't share any gimmicks. Hardly. I'm, I'm not sure if there's any... The only gimmick it shares is lava. Which comes into play later in the level. But anyway, we have another one. There's another YouTube user called 
Uh, make sure it's 404. We've seen a blind let's play of this. However, he did this level completely wrong. The special stage. Although, to be fair, it was a blind let's play, but honestly, though, he did go about this level completely the wrong way. Like, I think he. Uh, grab went grab them blue spears in a row without making it a square but leaving some in I think that's what he did I'm not sure if I worded that right but So blind nuts by I highly recommend you watch because it's just funny. Let's see if there's reaction in to Marvel Marvel Zones Claps and Ceiling. But then again, he's a great let's play anyway. And we've actually almost got the Emerald. And also, I'm not sure if I mentioned before, but if you actually get 100 rings in the special stage, you just hear the sound of losing rings. Quite odd, I do not know why that happens. But anyway, we didn't get the get a perfect that time, but although to be honest, I'm not really anal about perfects. There's just points. And to be fair, we got, I got a high amount of high school anyway. What's this? I know explore around here. Oh what the heck let's explore it. Unfortunately Unfortunately Oh Oh we explored here already. Yeah. I think you can actually get through there. I think you can actually get through there from before we even went down there and Press switch to get through. I that's the first time I really find that out. That, that was a secret door over there. That was. I think we enter another secret stage too. I think. I definitely. Did I? Oh no I didn't. This, uh, this is the end level. Now for camera screwage. Of oh, awesome. My spidey sense is tingling. Ah! Surprise attack! Did I just see knuckles there? Yeah. He actually knocks that bother on you. However, because I was blasting like a fireball across there, and the death egg just... Whoa. Yeah, Death Egg heats, heats the bikes up. And then we have something in the background with a very familiar moustache, dropping missiles on our heads. And this place is. I'm not sure if this is. No, I think this is underneath. But it. But the first point part of this area is very similar to. That bit where Knuckles dropped us down. And we died. Oh well. Look at my for revenge. I've got plenty of guys. 36. Well, I think there's someone. Someone I've seen on Sonic, Sonic Retro. Managed to score a screenshot of him getting back like 160. And the. <coughs> the counter glitched because it can't display, display more than 99. But anyway, this level. This boss. Completely broken if you have the fire shield. If you have supersonic or hypersonic, well, if you have super form or hyper form or shield, <coughs> this will be easy. If you don't, it'll be kind of tough because you have to jump banks off the jump on the platforms. Like I mentioned before, the my shield really breaks this level. That's 
swear to god it takes more than eight hits and not the other bosses. I can't but I never can't say I really noticed. I'm pretty sure he did. I think he's like taking about three volleys of three bombs, so I think he's got taken nine. I think it takes 10 hits. Or 11. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it, take, it took more than the other than the usual. Love her. Drive swell. In a prototype of Sonic 3C, this. The Love Her didn't. Um. Joy up. And we have. Oh, but this is the end of the video, so next part will...